Greetings everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. You know all of this by now and me struggling to figure out whether I want to abandon the Anton or not because we have most of the UK under us, but it's the former UK lands, but whatever. Um, Belgium refuses to return Den Dunkirk. Clearly the Belgian government has not been sufficiently intimidated by our terms with our diplomats indicating to us that they're not, they are in no way willing to restore the port to us and that our claims have no legitimacy. We must now decide how to resolve the issue, with many now demanding a war to put these upstarts in their place. Which is weird, because they're in the Entente still. Um, Social Democrats, so... There you go. I was hoping we could go to war with them, but... I guess not. Which means we must leave them now. For regards, we are reallocating funds from the central bureaucracy. As we begin to slash bureaucracy and free up funds, we have found ourselves with a wholly unexpected problem. We have built quite a, quite a bit of extra money in our hands without much more budget requiring to spend it. Unfortunately, if we do not spend it, it will simply be allocated away from our control in the next yearly budget. We have been presented with two black holes to show all the money into. One of them is the military. The other one is rather straightforward, re really. Uh, the government will hand out generous cash incentives to defense companies to make them open up more factories. This will leave us better equipped to face our enemies in the future. Refreshingly uh, simple in such ever-complex times, the other money pit however has a more nuanced use. The previous regime's centralization policy sucked money from the provinces like a parasite. This has left many provincial administrations stagnant, and decaying and in some cases teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. If we're to funnel this extra money into their pockets, we can give them the funds to potentially overhaul their administrations, kickstart the machines, or at the very least, keep the lights on another year. Not only that, but some provinces have always had waning allegiance to us. Burying them under a mountain of francs will buy us enough gratitude to keep them from wandering off at the very least. Defense and military. Use it to increase local funds to reach local government. Ah, uh, yes. So that really sucks. Um... With the Germans, though, we do have a war goal against them, so we have that, which is pretty nice. As we're doing so, from the the pays real, so you want to put that, there you go. Um, I do undo look east. The greatest diplomatic question now facing us is that of Germany. With the perfidious box continuing to occupy Alsace-Lorraine, besides many former French colonies still in their moment of weakness, it's essential that we determine our policy forwards towards the Reich, as we seek to carve out our place among the great powers. Uh, who's this? Assyria. Oh, there goes Shambhala Pact. Huh. Now well, the cards on his last legs looks like the uh, PSAs really winning the war here. That's nice. And we can't do this route, so we can do the perennial enemy. The Caribbean question first. Out of the chaos of the French and British revolutions, our colonies in the Caribbean were merged into the one West Indies. Federation, which came to be politically dominated by the Anglo population rather than the French so far. We'd accept its existence nonetheless. Due to our own ability to administer the land, both France rebelled, there are those who want us to rethink our policy. Request a return, status quo, or request the return. That filthy box are an irredeemable enemies of the French people. We can never commit the atrocities that they committed against innocent Frenchmen in two world wars, whether or not these were under the thin veil of anti socialism. Um, and we can never forget the plight of brothers and sisters in Alsace. Lorraine. New military exercises on the border and high and aggressive rhetoric will give the Hun a warning they've uh, warning they've coming. Clearly, our demands have failed to have the right effect on the Caribbean government, which has the audacity to refuse outright to restore any former French colonies to our direct control. Although this is a mulling front of government, the West Indies Confederation is the support of the British, and we cannot risk the Entente Alliance by pressing the matter any further. What a shame. Really? Bro, come on. So now demand this from the Germans. As to our colonial claims, in the chaos of our defeat and revolution, Germany was able to receive the legitimate French territories across the globe. With Franco-German relations once again deteriorating, we should reassert our claims to these colonies, encouraging unrest among the remaining French settlers and garnering more legitimacy for anti-German stance. A new Alsace ultimatum. No more can we ignore the suffering under a tyranny of our French brothers and sisters in Alsace Lorraine, as the humiliation of 1870 remains an upheld wound to the French national consciousness. The time has come to dispatch a new ultimatum to the German filth. See it at rifle lands or face the wrath of a resurgent French nation. You know, in the meantime, you know what we're going to do? We're going to give these guys a nun. An attaché. So we can see what's happening and hopefully drastically increase what we have here. Have, we're still part of the, this group to so help us with our economy and whatnot. Which I think it's a very good thing to do. I was going to use more military factories. Way more. So let's get some more army XP and whatnot here. Um, do you need any guns or anything? We've got quite a few guns, so. We could send volunteers. I'm surprised the Russians have been able to hold out for so long. They're doing actually quite well. Cancel mark effective access for relations. Uh, entire thing. Let me send them some convoys. They don't have nearly enough. 
once, boom. Boop once, boom, boom. Hopefully that helps them out. Because we still gotta finish our naval doctrine. Or honestly, we're just building up time for us to build up our military forces more. Um, build up our navy and air XP. And mechanized equipment's nice. I still want more planes though. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, yeah. I'll skip probably spend a little more. So we look east. Because we're also just flying on Switzerland too. Yeah. We'll let time go on for now. Build ourselves up a little bit more. Uh, not looking bad. Keep building, 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 building. Naval XP, please. Yes, please. Boom, boom, boom. And we're just flying on the Swiss. Because, well, who else are we going to take out? Maybe Illyria? Pretty much take everybody out that we can around here. Of course, it's pretty laggy at this point, which really sucks. Uh, but we're going to continue this way, too. Power of the provinces. What generations of decadent Republican terms the ancient regime in truth held the key to reliable governance. Each province of the kingdom within its own boundaries could enjoy the protection and guidance of the crown while governing itself with a high degree of autonomy through its own parliament. Conscious of local needs while also devoted to the crown and national interests. By restoring these parliaments we shall come far closer to restoring the old true France, party dominance. The Action Francaise existed as a political movement in one form or another since the Dreyfus Affair. And throughout its long life it has inspired many both in France and this world to stand up for values that they know to be true. However, if our government is to last and prosper we must work to make sure the party is a social institution, incentivizing membership and ensuring that ordinary people can use a party and its internal institutions to push for the goals, granting true freedom to the pays reals under the guidance of the king and his cabinet, and compulsory Camelot membership. <clears throat> the Camelot's du Roy, an institution serving both as a party, a youth movement, and political paramilitary, was granted sweeping powers not long after the we first assumed power. However, now that France has made the efforts or has been liberated, the Camelots will play a vital role in our efforts to make the party a major social institution through which true patriots can exercise political power within their local regions. Mandatory enrollment in their organization for young men will guarantee that they learn loyalty to the king and find a place in a new social hierarchy. That would be great. Fill out the rest of these ranks. Oh boy, your grace declared war uh, Orders for the third Mexican Empire, great. Okay then, Uruguay, good luck with that. Three medium tanks. It's fine, whatever. And how long do we have until we have good war with these guys? We have half the time still up there, which is unfortunate. But oh well. Oh, they've actually destroyed the Ukraine state. The Russians have. Well, is that topical now? Could be. They're still fighting the Duna Adria Boom, which is still fighting Illyria, which we do want to take out. These guys are actually doing really really well. I mean, they got lucky they got they killed off uh, Eastern Russians or whoever. I mean, don't get me wrong, supplies got off up here, but it's sucking up so much bad supply from it for everybody. As long as the Russians are defending their own land, they're doing really well. For the most part. Which is also why I wanted to send them um, uh, the Tache. Because they have about a million map are left for the German Empire. So how much men? A million of themselves? Two million. And they're on, they're on scraping the barrel. They're on all adult serve. This is great. Naval bombers. Uh, there you go, range of ability. Look at that. Nice. Boop. Compulsory Camelot membership. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, for colonial claims. Are very, very good. Because you guys are where? You're down Africa. You guys will be in Africa too, probably. Oh, there goes the Ukrainian state. Look at that. Wow. Kind of impressive. Good job, Russia. That's really good for naval XP, too, huh? Yep. Streamline line. Very, very good. Should have sent this a long time ago. Are you still fighting all these other people? What, what, what is Japan doing? Like, why have you not just peaced out with them? Like, bros. Seriously. My god. Oh man, that's pretty devastating. That's gonna definitely help the Russians. 
Not sure by how much, but still. Now, Romania has more and more control over this group, so that's pretty good for them. So we've got our colonial claims. We're building up our navy more, which is great. Let's consolidate the alliance. I don't think so. Can we win and get this from them? That would be great and crazy. Um, we can try it. Uh, I want to wait and do that later. Party dominance first. Because we still go down our route here anyway, so. Regional cultural revivals. No longer can hedonistic socialist internationalism or the cosmopolitan spirit of the Republic centralized in Paris threaten and degrade the cultures of each distinct part of France. With local AF branches now dominant in each region alongside the aristocracy and loyal clergymen, we can focus on restoring the distinct and beautiful cultures and identities of the regions of France, each one integral to the nation as a whole. An union of Royale du Trével. The working class of France will always have its grievances, as does every other element of its hierarchical or society. However, it's imperative that these grievances are never again allowed to be subverted by Judeo Masonic socialists. And our social hierarchy must be built around trust and cooperation. As such, a new national trade union, the Royal Union of Labor, will be functional will function within the party, with its leadership decentralized between the king's um, provinces, allowing workers to legitimately improve their lot in harmony with the crown. Very good. Oh, it's 1944. Happy 1944, everybody. Modern oil processing. Nice, nice, nice. 1944. Oh, forgot about this stuff. If that's the case, we're going to slowly start reducing our oil on these guys and incentivizing party membership. Moraz has seemingly begun taking issue with the fact that Action Francais has remained, even after taking power, a realm for the upper crust. A majority of the card carrying party members are the upper crust of society. He's beginning to worry that the AF does not broaden in its base, it could give the red poison of cynicism a way to pull the rug out from under all of us. He has devised three options on how to encourage the lower classes to join. The first one is the simplest. Pay them. By giving bonuses to workers in the party, can encourage those not in the party to join. If not out of loyalty, then out of greed. Sure, it may let some less than savory actors butt in, but Morales is confident the party can withstand a few bad actors clattering up from the bottom rung of the social ladder. The second option is to use a tried and true method of propaganda. He has, con uh, is, has begun to drop a massive multimedia propaganda campaign to convince the lower classes that the AF works for them as well as the rich bettors. The campaign is all-encompassing stretching, from pamphlets to radio flyers to radio and ads and shows to even series of movies lionizing the AF um, and their heroic struggle for the soul of France. The last option, of course, is a bit more drab but probably more effective. We can restrict the promotions to upper management and civil service to just those in the party. Sure, to have the same pitfalls of paying for members, but growth is growth, right? Offer more financial privileges. Works in propaganda. Make it mandatory for government jobs. Ah, focus on that. There you go, that's fine. Hey, look at all that. That's done. That's great. Come on, can we go to war now? I want to go to war with this Swiss. So we just find more people too. Very soon. Which is good. And get us down to build a crap ton of fighters. Wow. And Cass. That's a lot of Cass. It's great. Oh my god, we're going to need him. Germans are absolutely not going to be ready for when we go to war with them. Advanced conversion. That's nice. Boop, boop. Happy February 1st, everybody. Oop, oop. Nope. Because right now, how strong are these guys? Oh, I mean, it's not going to be easy fighting these guys. They're very, very strong. Uh, I assume they're very strong. Attack and defense, of course, are 20, plus 20%. So, a quarter, three, a quarter, a third of a million manpower for them. How are you looking? Good, good, good. For them, at least. Boop, boop. Uh -huh. yeah, just in case I too. Because after that, I wouldn't mind going to war with Illyria. Continue expanding us while they're taking forever, because this is, we need more time here. Um, and that's pretty much the last major person we can take out that I want to take out. Go on. Of course, we have railway guns too, which is very nice. 
That's a lot of damage. Immediately start with basically 50 to 60. Just shredding them. Even though they've got plus 20% defense on core territory, it doesn't matter. Love it. Don't want to call our allies in. We don't need them. What's this? Speedless armor. Armor and defense. Breakthrough probably would have been better, but whatever. 16,000. Alright. So far, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Defense heavy batteries. Lock the game. Uh, the our allies out of their focus tree. That's fine. Hey, we got him. Look at that. Not too shabby. Pretty nice. Because we could also fight these guys too. I don't want to now. Could you shove all these divisions here and build up more supply through here? To Switzerland. After fierce fighting the Alpine Mountains, we have finally conquered Switzerland. This so army surrendered and the territory is in our control. What should we do with the, uh, with the control now? Liberate them? Um. My finger slipped. I'm okay with this. Yeah, they're. they're honestly, they're losing some territory here, but, you know, it's whatever. This is so nice. Marines, okay. Pioneers. Shore parties. Jungles or amphibious, probably amphibious. Um, or can we do rocket artillery? I can do normal artillery, it's fine. Just give you a decent amount of defense. It's not bad. 25.2. Give it 27. That's fine. Yeah. Let time go on. Probably should have built those earlier, but whatever. I'll integrate Romandy. Ah, we will eventually. Power of the provinces and whatnot. Henri, go to war with those guys. Review the economy. With the worst of the post-war chaos behind us, we can now direct more funding towards the French industry and set up new government bodies tasked with revitalizing France's economy. In order to get in the long-term aftermath of the war and build up economic soft power. Nice. Yeah, there's that one. Push the AF newspaper. Since AF's founding, our eponymous newspaper has been an instrumental in disseminating the Morassian Doctrine, providing commentary on current affairs, rallying support for the party, as it consolidates the position of the party as a universal institution upon which Latin social hierarchies can be built. It's essential that we pour maximum effort into increasing the circulation of this newspaper, ensuring that every Frenchman understands their narrative. Nationalist intellectual rebirth, Morassisme, and the AF as a whole, was born out of the many different strands of rightist nationalism that took hold uh, among French intellectuals intellectuals towards the end of the 19th century, and were accentuated by the Dreyfus Affair. However, Maras and most of his old comrades are now old men, and truly, to secure the longevity of our ideals, we must ensure that the younger generation is ready to carry the flame of integral nationalism by promoting nationalist movements among students, and ensuring that Marasian politics is dominant within universities. Very true. Engines, boop, boop. Good. Any other ships? Three more ships, not bad. Two more capital ships, too. The threat of divergence. We have, as we've decentralized our state, we've run into a problem we hadn't really intended, much less expected to find. Some have begun, some provinces have begun to take the newfound freedoms a bit too literally and begun to deviate from the national policy of Marisma. Some of these deviations are rather minor and pose a more theoretical threat than any actual harm to the social fabric of the nation. However, some provinces, those farthest from Algiers, use, uh, Usually, they've taken extreme liberties with the pillars of Morassa's ideology, and even someone abandoned it entirely. Our administration is split on what to do about this. One faction says we can do anything. We want the regions to be more free to choose their own policies, and now that they have, to stop them would be hypocritical. Another proposes that we, the king, step in and bring the provinces in a line. Morassa can make a public fuss, but of course, he is a king. 
What can Moros do but carry out his word? It kills two birds with one stone. We can bring the provinces into line and keep our ideology untainted. A third of more radical faction proposes we just skip over the king and crack down these liberal interpretations outright. They preach doom and help fire, but don't do something, and point out that saying how much you would rule a nation and actually ruling it are two different things. Sometimes we must do the wrong thing for the right reasons. If people are mad now, history will vindicate us. Can't betray our principles. Dismiss them. How did the king intervene? The king is on our side, right? Boop. Right? These are doing so well. They're darling the French right. One of the most famous French women of the modern age, Gabriella Bonheur Chanel, or more commonly Coco, has been a fixture of the rightist politics. Rising as a businesswoman and a titan of industry, a visionary designer and parfumist, and a shining feminist icon to boot, Coco Chanel is beloved by millions across France and the wider world. Oh, look at that. Um, but she's begun to gain far more infamy and, and spotlight here in the nation recently, specifically due to her outspoken and very public support of our regime, and due to her scandalous es escapades as one of the most wealthy and most popular socialites of the modern age. A devout anti-Semite and anti-socialist with personal disdain for cultural vacuums and parasites like the Americas, Coco has long preferred the company of elitists and conservatives. Holding close links to British aristocracy, once even almost mirroring the Duke of Westminster, and to the Romanovs as well as to all of the manners of European elites, Coco's worldview is submitted on the right, even working behind the scenes during the rise of the Parisian Commune in an effort to set up Dutch leftist activity, both within the public and within her own company. With all this in mind, many within her regime have brought up the idea of supporting this apt supporter and wealthy socialite in order to bolster the state and to aid us as we further spread ideology to all French, true Frenchmen. For nearly none doubt, Coco Chanel's loyalty to our cause with two main plans as to how do we go about this. First, we could choose to massively subsidize Coco Chanel's company and its haute couture, couture goods in full force, integrating Chanel as a fundamental part of our civilian economy and as an integral link in our trade network, and pouring our full attention towards expanding Chanel in order to bolster our financial system. Alternatively, we can pour a less substantial, but still significant amount of support into the Chanel company while using the remaining funds to establish an espionage network within the Chanel company, as Coco had just said, utilizing her vast network of contacts and allies, as well as her economic reach, in order to spy on the world at large and our potential foes for the good of France. What should we choose? Moderately subsidize it? Slowly wrap, focus on rapidly and massively expand the Chanel company. Leave Coco to the perfume and suit. She can serve the state without being part of it. I want to be econo an economic juggernaut. I think that's really cool. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, good. Boop. Happy May. I know we're taking a while for this campaign, but still. Uh huh. Very nice. Very good. So, and you're going to still stay over here because we have Tripoli we got to take out as well. Boop. Boop. Leave no stone unturned. You guys are gonna have this down here. Boop, boop. And Bolivia. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. See what? Nice. Review the economy. Push AF newspaper. Because we keep going down on this right side, and we're fully doing this focus here apparently, um, we can get another research slot. Oh, the worst of the post war chaos behind us, we can now direct more funding towards the French industry and set up our new government bodies tasked with revitalizing France's economy in order to negate the long term aftermath of the war and build up economic soft power, new trade deals. We cannot achieve economic success without strong trading partners, and we cannot and find such trading partners will go a long way to buoying our status on the world stage. Thus, a new government committee will seek up to draw up trade deals with nations around the world and negotiate with them for mutually beneficial agreements. Revive French cities. Urban areas, urban industry, are absolutely essential to our economic success, and were hit extremely hard by the war. A new round of investments, aimed at destroying businesses and jobs in cities and rebuilding the many buildings which are still damaged, will ensure that French cities become the centers of culture and success they, as they should be, and post syndicalist boom. Finally, the economy is back on its feet. The markets have more energy than ever, and France is becoming, fast becoming one of the most lucrative places in the world to do business, as companies around the world find favorable opportunities in their country through trade deals, and native French businesses become widely respected and wealthy once again. Truly, the French miracle has arrived. The broader uh, rightist press, well, the Action Francaise newspaper, also called Action Francais, uh, has become the most widely read newspaper in the nation. Um... A collection of other right-wing newspapers have maintained a decent readership. One of these is even the Libre Parole, um, the newspaper that's caused the Dreyfus affair. Uh, the continued support of the regime has kept them independent, 
Help them keep their independence, but that independence is seen by some as a threat. Um, the key, they warn Morasa that they could just easily turn on him and sow the seeds of the disunion and rebellion just as well as reinforce the national state. They urge Morasa to shut these papers down, or at least to absorb them into the AF, so they can't pose a threat in the uh, future. Are suffering any supply issues? No, which is kind of strange, but okay then. That's good to us. Marines, design costs, expeditionary units. More air superiority is pretty good to have. Defense. Or marine commandos. Exfiltrate for any coastal province. More breakthrough. And then, but this one gives you Amtrak's breakthrough. I want to see, I want to try that one out. Men's dual purpose. Nice. Fine. Advanced mediums. Uh, at this point, I'm also go for the best one. Modern, modern, heavy. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go in slow, but how much longer must we wait for Elyria? Oh, a few days. It's not bad. Twelve guns. There you go. Um, with you guys, I'm not sure where to send you now. Because we just have to cover all of our bases. Maybe northern here. So we've got this covered. We've got this covered. We need this covered too. Uh huh. It's fighting in frickin' Africa. Frickin' sucks. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Yeah. It's gonna take a little bit of time. That's fine. Boop, boop. How's the war with the Russians going? Ah, oh, they're doing even better now against Bulgaria. Uh, it still pretty much hasn't moved up very much. Who's that? The Baltic Last Stand. Oh, that's literally the last stand. Good job, Estonia. There we go. So who's after them? Illyria. Ottoman Empire is looking alright. Social Republic of Iran. Eritrea. Hauseland. Sacred Union of Pacific America sounds really good to take out, but whatever. Reichsbach, Denmark. Going to Ajibun, maybe? You guys have been here? They have 11 divisions. No. Uh, arms factory. There you go. What are losses like? One and a half million against one point. Oh my gosh. Is gone. Nice, nice, nice. There's only one more army up here before we go to war with the Reichs Pact. Now, when we go to war with the Reichs Pact, probably just be us and Italy and Spain. I think we should be able to handle them. S pain. There you go. Do the best you can. Where did I put you guys? Oh, you're over there. That's good. Boop. 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 There you go. Fall of Zagreb. Very nice. Do not mess with the French. This is our only warning. Two thousand more fighters, please. Boop. Boop. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm even training you too, huh? Wow. There you go. It's 
a lot of guys. It's a lot of planes. We have twelve percent of the war score. We killed off one hundred twenty some thousand. We need a lot of supply. Whew. There's just a lot of bodies around here. We could use some Amtraks too. Alright, we got a Lyria. around here? Yeah, maybe. Nothing else, huh? Darn it. Ah, we can take this one, maybe. There you go. This way we can still keep uh, building up the ports here too. Ooh, but there's a slight issue here. Where are you at? Uh, you're pretty far away, you're pretty far away. You are close enough that I don't mind doing like this maybe. Alright, oh, we want Liechtenstein? Okay. Let's review the economy. I have a couple French cities here and there, yeah. That'd be nice. Make another division, nice. Good, 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 good. How are the Russians doing? They are doing the same. Actually, Serbia is coming back online, so which is pretty good for them, but still. Good. Probably up through here. You know what? I could just convert you guys immediately to uh, Mountaineers. I'm sure, that could bet benefit us quite a bit. In this case, let me see up here. There you go. Now you can repair if you need to. Hello. Uh, that's really not good. After this, we can just go straight to war with the uh, Germans, probably. Better done, Oh, let's wait. Attack them, that's fine. Police to the Maria, that's fine. Oh, hello. Uh, you'd probably be fine doing that. They're just militia, that's fine. Subs. What are you guys doing? Uh, snorkels, not bad, not bad. There you go. How's their superiority looking? 
Looking pretty good. Maybe a few plans here and there, but nothing major. Which is exactly what we want. Trade deals. Post Nicholas Boom, global economic power. As our community for the world trade negotiates more and more successful deals, our economic interests in foreign countries across the world greatly increase, we can now come to declare ourselves world economic power. A force to be reckoned with in the world trade and a nation more than capable of exerting financial influence on foreign states and foreign shipyards. Before 1940, France was the world leader in shipbuilding, and look at that. And as the economy grows at an unprecedented rate, we should look to revive this industry, both to sustain the current rate of growth and give France the maritime prowess required to truly claim the status of a great power. Where is that? Can you guys actually push in? You have railway guns. Oh, well, maybe that would help if I give you this too. Go. Do what you can. I have to make some of you mountaineers too, so. Looking very good. Good, good. Pretty good all around. You know, it's looking very good. Nice. Bozen, yes, we'd love to have Bozen. Mozen to the Bozen. Hunger's gonna fall soon, too. Come on, and do we have them? Pretty much. Well, we demanded Alsace Lorraine, and we got it back. Look at that. I feel pretty good about that. Too bad we're still gonna go kill them. The Germans give in. Clearly too exhausted and dispirited by the second Valkyrie to yet another war break out, Germany has astonishingly given into our ultimatum and announced the full return of French colonies in Alsace Lorraine to the French government, with their forces rapidly back from the relevant areas. Oh, we got more. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got all this too. It's the greatest triumph the government has ever known. Finally, after the spilling of so much blood, the German tyrant has been brought to its knees and. After decades under the Reich's boot, Alsace Lorraine is free once again. Frenchmen across the country have already broken into wild celebrations. Have the nation's new final ascendancy on the world stage. Hurrah! Fantastic. Oh, we got all of Morocco, too. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that we own Gibraltar. Very smart. Um, and I've got one heck of a border with these guys, too. Where are you guys at? U11 can focus down here. And then you guys can focus over here. I think that would be swell. Egypt, are you in the... Oh, you are in the Reich's Pact. That's fine. Well, I didn't plan on getting my colonies back, but... Here we're at. Oh, oh, we got... Oh, let me not musk out. We got your booty. I love Djibouti. Um, Portuguese state, South Africa. Oh, we got Madagascar too. Oh, would you look at that. Not bad. That's pretty good. You got anything here? No. I'm still on part of Texas. Now we got so much fuel. Hmm. Alsace et Lorraine. We have done it. We have avenged 1870. <clears throat> we have regained the province of Alsace and Lorraine. French since the time immemorial of the Sun King. Our troops paraded happily in the streets of the Strasbourg. The collaborators and the crowds are chased out of our country to join the German dogs in the filthy lands. An author of France has finally restored the sacrifice of our many war heroes are not in vain, and the hero of Verdun did not die for nothing. This day will remain in the memories as one where France finally becomes one. The horrible name of Strasbourg will no longer be necessary. Our rare magnificent Strasbourg has found a new name, and we are French and will always remain so. Viva la France! A la a bas le box, vous ne pas dire pas. Huh. Fantastic. What you said, too bad we're still going to kill them. Mm -hmm. Integrate Reunion is a department. Since we lost the mainland, our empire was formed asunder, or torn asunder, and most fell under the control of the governments. Take some time and effort to reintegrate Reunion back in France as an overseas department. We're almost ready to go. Boom. Thank God we got taxes, even though Monkey taking over, but whatever. We're gonna need some more manpower. 
Boop, 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 boop. Three. Two. Uh, you're not doing anything, so goodbye. Lots of naval bombers. Come on. Oh, we're going in. Right, uh, is there anything else for the shipyards? That's fine. We should have declared, uh, you know, like a non aggression pact or something, but whatever. Oh, they're invading here too. That's fine. Nice. Oh boy. Oh, that was a big mistake. Third Valkyrie. The combined alliance that brought an end to the syndicalists has come to an end. After a brief but an easy peace, the Entente leadership has decided that they simply cannot exist with the end of the right with the Reich's pact that continued to dominate Europe. The restored Union United Kingdom, which doesn't exist, has rallied the various members of the Entente Alliance, including French exiles of Algeria, to launch another global war in the hopes of finally reclaiming the metropole. Once again, in the skies and the seas, all the battered empires of Europe shall clash once more. The citizens of the war and powers find themselves in danger like never before, with new and destructive weapons more advanced than those they just fought with. It seems that, yep, yeah, again, the world is headed towards a destructive Valkyrie. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Also destroyed in the process, huh? Have you learned anything? No? So then Germany's looking pretty good. Oh, Western Command Center's gone. Well, New York City. Oh, you guys are at war? No, you need to go in too. You're not allowed to stop. Oh, look at that. Oh. Proof subs? Sure. Dying down there too, so I'm not so worried about it. There you go. End of the American Civil War. Well, hey, the Pacific States won. Look at that. Oh, one other thing that has happened to here too is that Russia decided to give up on their own faction. And join the Japanese faction. So interesting. Quite interesting, I'd have to say. Oh my God! Wow. What oh, victories? And I figured the Irish could figure it out. I lost sub, but that's alright. Oh, what happened to my guys here? I had a full-on army here. Are we done pushing yet? I mean, that's going to collapse our front here completely. It's better. Yeah, I figured we, I wanted to do it like this here, just so that these all three of these powers are like equal in strength, so they can't really rise up and try to fight us and whatnot. Oh god, let's keep it trying to invade us. Gotta hope not. That'd be annoying. What are losses like so far? Sixteen thousand is not bad. Germans have lost a quarter million to us. It's not bad. I don't think they can really withstand our power. Our Aquilion. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Um, we've already eaten most of Germany up anyway, so I'm not super worried about it. Oh, there goes Czechoslovakia. The first of many are gonna fall. Oh, and the German Free State's gone too. Great. Anything here? Ah, fine. You can reinforce a little faster. That's fine. We've got French shipyards done too. That's awesome. Agrarian investments, the epitome of Morales' ideal of a good Frenchman, the embodiment of the Pays Riel is a humble and patriotic yeoman farmer, living a simple moral life on the field, and always ready to answer the call of his nation. While we disseminate propaganda, urging a return to the fields and encouraging Frenchmen to take up an agrarian way of life, we must do so and also invest, heavily invest in the countryside to uplift and reward the loyal farmers and artisans of France. Losses there, but that's alright. And what do we have anything down here? Oh, they're trying to navy bay, but whatever. Hello. I wouldn't avoid this at all costs. What are you doing? Wow, that's dumb. Um, you guys focus here. It's probably a bad idea, but we'll try it anyways. Boop. Look at that manpower. I like it. connections in Africa. We're getting there. Air production. They have a lot of manpower left. I don't think they have a lot of equipment. Yeah, at least I've got a lot of equipment and manpower still. Did I forget to do this? I think I did. Let's see. Convoys lost. Lots of convoys. Convoys. Hey, railway guns are actually really, really good. Um, can you go in? Hello? This is stupid. Lag, as you can tell. Oh, not this one, but we're doing a good job overall. I don't think it'll really matter in the end, but anything else here? No. How are we still fighting in Scotland? Hello. And don't get me wrong, it's great for destroying their fleets and whatnot, but.
Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a Very nice. Oh, we're taking the Netherlands. Oh, there's Warsaw. Oh, oh, we're out of fuel. I should probably pay a little more attention to that. Um. Would that help? Okay, it looks like it's helping out a little bit at least. Boop. Looking decent ish. Has our Admiral learned anything? He's level 4 now. So he might have learned something, maybe. Have we learned anything down here? Well, maybe. Ah. How about y'all keep these guys in place? Ah, and look at the Dutch. The Dutch sided with the wrong people, you know. Collapse of the Reich's Pact. It appears the unthinkable has occurred today. German forces. Fighting in Europe have finally collapsed under the weight of the invading armies. We, with nowhere left to run, the Kaiser and his cabinet met and agreed that a complete surrender was imminent within the days. The news has thrown the Allies into complete disarray, with a structure offered by the Reich's Pact alliance completely evaporating. It's clear the world order which has existed since the end of the First Valkyrie is about to come to a fiery end. The massacres of the Valkyrie have been avenged. Oh. And there goes the fall of Constantinople. The Turks have finally been driven out of Europe. We are literally reshaping the world as we speak. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I wonder when we get the next peace deal. But, uh, okay, there we go. Well, I want as much of Germany as possible. Um, and the Netherlands. So, thank you. We're going to take all of it. Oh, we're not going to get most of it? Are you kidding me? I think we deserve a lot of it. Maybe not an entire thing. But I think we deserve a lot of it. Don't make me cause World War IV. Because the Russians won't be able to handle World War Four, And this time I'll actually leave the Entente. Wow, we get like nothing. All the work we put in, literally nothing. Where are the reasons why the Germans fell in the end? Wow, that's terrible. They can have Czechoslovakia. We're taking more German territories if possible. It's going to look really bad. Well, we pretty much put it in between East and West Germany at this point. Um, so who's major power now? Why is Kingdom of Hawaii a major power? Paraguay? Huh. We're at war with these guys, too. Can we go to war with these guys? Oh, yeah, they can have Irish ones. It's fine. Yeah, I might have to do some funky stuff here. Let's see what happens first. Because we've got, still got a few enemies to take care of here. <clears throat> because I hate how this is set up. Uh, I'll give it a second here. Let's see what happens. Because we still got a few enemies here and whatnot. Oh, Bob Jeremy, there you go. End of an era. Fit of Togoland. Well, the army's no more arching into West Africa. The colonial dominion of Togoland has fallen under our control. Traditionally ruled over by Germans since the colony's inception in 1884, the colony now lies in our hands. We must decide what to do with it. We can simply annex Togoland as a new colony of the French Empire, or we could revive an old plan to split the colony into between French and Anglo regimes. Alternatively, we could revive a small part of the dead little Entente idea by offering this colonial land to the newly free Czechs, but let you have a claim to this land from the old colonial exploits that never came to pass. Doing so would make a way for a possible alliance with them as well, which we do. Split. Yeah, it's French clay. It absolutely is French clay. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. At arm's length. Crush the box. You got a piece. Well, there will be no war with Germany by, by now, that is certain. However, there will be no peace either. The deep ancestral rivalry between our two nations simply cannot vanish. And we have little choice but to uneasily compete for influence around the world, while the question of Alsace Lorraine goes unsolved for yet another generation. Uh, I don't know about that. We've already won. What more do you want? Ah, uh, they're liberating Czechoslovakia. Um, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Can we get a piece now, please? Please don't kill off my divisions. Uh, there we go. But I think I might end there. We'll help take these guys out. We'll see what we can do. I might go to war with the, the Russians, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Because I, I, I don't like all this extra stuff that we have to deal with here. That's use any land. Huh. Uh, so regardless, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. It would probably be the last episode for us, because this campaign's gone a while, and we have just a few other things we got to take care of. So, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.